So lately, I've been working with a new tool called My Mind, and I thought I would do a review for you today. So first off, what is My Mind? So My Mind is a new way of taking notes. Uh, you can start typing notes by clicking here, and then you can start typing, or you can clip notes uh, from different from different places online. And once you type them in or clip them, you'll see that it throws it into a grid pattern, much like this. So all of your content is right here. So um, another, you know, another intriguing tool for note taking, but you know, how does it differ from other ones? And, and so what's the benefit from it? <clears throat> so first off, I'm going to show you the clipping feature. So this is a website, Marie Forleo, <clears throat> uh, well known. Uh, person, uh, celebrity online who teaches, uh, you know, people how to uh, become the best that they can be and things like that. I really like her website. So I want to clip her website to use it as an example for future copywriting. So over here, I've added the My Mind uh, Chrome extension. I click here and it says adding to your mind. Now you can also put in t tags if you want or you can just leave it blank. I'm just going to put in swipe for my copywriting swipe file and do that. Another unusual website is Hello Innovation. Again, I'm going to just, you know, tag that, call it swipe and it's added. And another one I really like is the Rotary International website. I think it's a great example of a nonprofit website. So I'm continually collecting these to show clients, you know, some examples of what I think, you know, they, things that they can follow. So I'm going to do this as well. So we go back to my mind. You'll see the new sites are all there, but there's no context, nothing there to really help me determine what's going on with these. So if I just type swipe, suddenly you'll see all the ones that I had tagged with swipe show up automatically. But it goes a little bit beyond this. It doesn't just work on the tags that I add. It also has an artificial system for tagging as well. So if I want to find out anything to do with books, I can just type in books. And these are not tagged. These are just ones that happen to have the word book in them or seem to be about books. If I want to find notes I've taken about water, I type that in. You see it's very fast the way that it comes up. So it's working uh, quite well for that. And uh, the manual notes, if you click on them, you start typing here. And you can save by hitting Control Enter. And you see that it's got the note there. And you can use the markdown language as well. I'm not a, a big markdown user, but they do they do give you the markdown options as well that you can use to be able to do here. And again, you could add add tags to each of these. So um, they also have a tips and tricks function up here. If you click on this keyboard, it shows you these shortcuts to rule your mind, you know, how you can search. So you can search by object, search by color, search for, you know, whether it was an article or a note, or you can exclude certain things by using the minus sign. It gives you, you know, keyboard shortcuts here, which is helpful. They show tips on this line, and you can hide that if, if that bugs you. But other than that, you do the search up here. There's also some additional settings you can do. If you look over here, you'll see that there's a, some grid options you can choose if you want kind of a, you know, narrow or compact or showing more of it all in the same one. You can... Uh, you can choose all those options and again that takes you to the shortcuts. Uh, you can click on settings here, shows your current plan, how many invites you've got to get the browser and you know you, where you can delete, do those kinds of things as well. Pricing on my mind, $5.99 a month for basic, allows you to, you know, gives you the AI, intelligent bookmarks, basic AI, things like that. Um, you know, and the mastermind, of course, the next level up gives you image recognition, advanced AI, advanced search, and color search. So it gives you some additional uh, options as well. Uh, so pros. Overall, I like that it can use markup, which does give you some things for formatting. The AI chooses some tags. So what I like about this is in the past, when I've used things like Evernote or, you know, uh, Rome, 
or Remnode or you know any of any of the different you know note taking programs out there. I spent a lot of time messing with tags, a lot of time doing that. This automatically tags and the AI is pretty good. So the benefit here is you can just drop stuff in and kind of ignore it and it should be very easily retrievable after that. Now you can still add the tags manually, which I wanted to do in the event of the copywriting swipe file because that, that's an additional context that it may not pick up on. I'm sure if I type for Marie Forleo, it will find Marie's site, or if I type Rotary, it will find Rotary, but it wouldn't necessarily understand what I mean by swipe or copywriting or something like that. It's private, there's no ads, lookups very fast, and another pro is that there's no structure. Now, let's look at the cons. So. The formatting in the notes is pretty basic. Markup is okay, but not great. Uh, for example, uh, I you know here's one note where I've been doing some cop a copywriting rewrite in a page I'm setting up, and it gives me a lot more control over the formatting there than than what markup does. Now again, that could be my fault because I'm not that good at markup, but I find a WYSIWYG editor is just simpler to use, and I'm more used to it than than the uh, markup, but you know, it is good that they have that markup feature. So the formatting I find is kind of a con. There's no Android mobile app. There is a, um, you know, there is a uh, Apple native app. You can, of course, use Android by going to the website, booking, marking, and it does work fine. It's very fast, but it's, you don't have a, a separate mobile app that is easier to call up. There's no social connections with it. Now, I think that was deliberate because they don't want people uh, sharing and those kinds of things it's meant to be private but then there might be ways you might want to uh, share something you've clipped and it's harder to clip behind login walls some of the things that you look at here like this Facebook thing I clipped well it just comes up with a Facebook login page this um, my map I clipped over here you know comes in with a log login page so it's harder to clip things that are behind I'm not sure if that's true if every note program has that problem but uh, that's one drawback I saw <coughs> And no structure. Now, interesting, you notice I put pro no structure because you can set and forget and just use the AI. But for those of you who are, are um, really steadfast about doing deep tagging and, and sub-tagging and those kinds of things, this isn't for you. Uh, the no structure in this case will drive you crazy. But uh, if you are someone who just wants a fast way to save notes and, and to be able to retrieve them quickly, this might work for you. So if you're a fan of AI and willing to resist over-organizing your notes, this might be a tool for you. Um, and I've looked at a lot of the notes programs. I am using this one currently as mine. I haven't finished the trial yet. So once I, I hit the end of the trial, I'll decide if I want to continue with it or switch one of those. For students uh, overall, this could also be useful, but I really like how RemNote uh, lets you create your own flashcards for students for testing your knowledge. Again, that's not a feature I need because I'm not testing my knowledge from what I save, but I think that would be really good for students. So that's my review overall. I love it. I think it's a really uh, great new addition to notes taking. Uh, whether it's yours or not will depend upon your needs uh, as I'm dropping more things in. As a test, I dropped in some stock photos just for fun and the system did a really good job in the AI I was thinking maybe I could drop all my stock photos in there but I think there are going to be some limits on how much you can upload so they suggested I don't drop in like maybe my my uh, you know uh, 100 or 200 gigabytes of stock photos <laughs> into the system <laughs> and also to uh, as it gets bigger it could run into uh, you know that could slow it down if I had like a thousand stock photos in the system so, overall, hope you enjoyed this. Please hit like and subscribe to get more videos like this uh, to, con you know, to encourage me to keep doing these. And please share this with uh, other people you think might be interested. Thank you so much for listening.